Well, I'm back. Uh, day two on this little job. Came back today. I'm going to try to get some uh, my seepage line laid and uh, maybe the sewer line repaired as well. And depending on the time, it's about 4.30 or quarter to five now. I'm going to put some of this rock off the driveway uh, in here and try to hold this pipe in place if I can. And uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do after that. If I can get this fixed and uh, the seepage line in. Okay, so down here you can see right there's where the moisture was getting into the under the house in the in the crawl space area. And then also uh, you come back over here and this is where the electric line, the sewer line, and it had a, an old um, water line that was coming out of there and I broke it off already but uh, there's a new one comes in on the other side of the house but that's just open there um, you can see where the dirt line was up here and this is one of the lower places on this side of the house and there's a key there stuck to the wall huh anyway so you can uh, see that that goes directly into the basement and uh, there's no wonder it wasn't leaking that was the easiest way out for that so what I've got is uh, some seepage line that is in the sock already it's in the fiber and has little pellets in there that you that instead of uh, washed rock I think it's generally used on uh, just drying up areas in the yard and things like that but uh, i did use it on another basement a few years ago and it worked well solved the problem there and due to budget reasons mainly on this one that's what i'm going to do again and i'm going to start it right here i'm going to put concrete in that hole i've got some bag concrete i'm going to clean that up and Put around that and poke back in there and let it i'm going to dry set it and it'll draw moisture from the ground here and and do its own thing i'm going to run that seepage line on under this and down because this is where the the basement part of the house starts is right here and it's really just a big crawl space is all it is so i'm gonna run that seepage line on around and uh, hopefully that'll solve the problem and i'm pretty confident it will it's not the way that you would want to do it on a normal basement where you had uh, furniture and living quarters down there, but I believe on this application it'll work all right. And it's a little more budget friendly. Uh, we don't want to tie up a load of money in this. We don't have a load of money to tie up in it and we just need to make it better right now. So that's what we're going to do. And I know I'll probably get people that want to Tell me how wrong it is, but uh, it's going to be right for me. So that's what matters here. This isn't a how-to, it's a how I did it. So uh, anyway, I brought the other loader up with me, and uh, I'm going to use it a little bit here in a minute and try to scrape some gravel off the driveway. I brought the box blade on it and probably leave it here to help backfill with. So anyway... That's where I'm at today. Got a lot of help again today. My neighbor's dogs are all here. They're a pretty good group of dogs. They don't bother much. They're just something to watch for is all. So we don't mind them being here. They're just afraid to hurt one of them.
Okay, so I poured some concrete around that. Cleaned it up best I could and got down deep. Filled that full of concrete, sloped that from the bottom of that opening to here. I sloped it. The clay laid that drainage pipe on top of that and right on through here. I'm going to go right on around the house with it right now and come back. And I've got some this small uh, white rock up there. It's all I have right now. I'm going to dump it on top of this area. Try to fill this up to about this level with that white rock and then come back and tear this drain pipe out and replace it. And some of that will have to be done inside. I don't know, work around that electric line a little bit. I'm going to get some white rock in here right now. And... Uh, before I do any more to this. This is what the end of that pipe looks like. It was crushed. Even quite a ways there. Flattened right where it laid on this board. I assume they had the board in there to keep the ground from settling and kinking the pipe right there, but that's what happened anyway. So, I uh, got that in there and it's set up on an elbow. That inside's gonna have to be redone too. It's all duct taped together. So this is basically what I'm gonna do with that right now. I'm gonna get that sealed up in that hole before I'm done. But I'm gonna go ahead and glue this fitting in. And that one, I'm just gonna slide that together and leave it for now because that's a really lightweight pipe and I think where that clean out is right there is from an old line that come down there was a mobile home that sat on back up there where my pickups parked and I think that line comes from there and I think it's a dead line so I'm going to dig on down here eventually not right now I'm going to get this all this mess cleaned up but we're going to come back to this before a it's all over with uh, one of these days soon and run this on around and probably do a different septic system. Uh, so anyway, that's not gonna be glued and that's why.
Well, I'm at the point of cleaning up for the day. I just stuffed some old paper and stuff in there to plug that hole for now. I don't want stuff getting in there that shouldn't. So, uh, I think this is getting in pretty good shape. I'm going to do something there with that electric line and run it through something. I don't know what yet and get that board out of the top and the bottom and put the concrete in that I think. Um, like I say, put something around the electric line before I do it. Got this all laid all the way around and it's daylighted out. Nothing's backfilled. And I'm going to use what rock I have, this little stuff. It's just pretty fine. We're moving the driveway from, from here up to the top of the hill up there, so behind the machine. This doesn't make a good first layer for a drive on ground that needs something uh, solid under it, so it's not a good base. Makes a good drive on something that's already got a base, but anyway, I'm going to scrape this drive and get all that off there I can and put right on this and use it up. And help us stay kind of in a budget that we can afford. So, had a couple pieces left over. I'm going to save them back. Piece of pipe left. Um, anyway, I'm going to pick up for the day. And uh, load one of these machines up and head home. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems small we can sit together it's so beautiful, you and me, we meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. That's where we're going to call it for the day. Got the seepage line in, got it ran around, daylighted out around the back of the house, repaired the drain line, uh, concreted one of those uh, bad places in the foundation where water was getting through. Hopefully that'll kind of detour it enough to get it to follow the seepage line on out. And then we have the other hole where the drain pipe run through that I repaired. Uh, I've got to do something with So there's electric line there. It's got to have something put around it, and then I probably will concrete that in and, and uh, just do the solid with concrete all the way through there. And uh, hopefully that'll solve that problem. Uh, we've made a place for the water to escape, so it should take the easiest path to get out of there. Got my tools picked up, machines loaded. I'm headed home. It's 7.30 on a Sunday night. Got another job to go to in the morning, so it'll be a few days before I get back here. If it rains again in the meantime, it would be good. We could see if the basement's dried out any. It uh, would give me a little idea of whether I could move forward without uh, worrying about this leaking again. So anyway, uh, if you like what's going on here and want to follow along and uh, see what we do at this place, we've got a lot of plans. We're kind of on a budget, so it'll go be a slow go, but uh, it'll be budget-friendly stuff, and we would... Like it if you'd give us a like, if uh, you enjoyed this at all, subscribe so you can know when we're working on it. And uh, if you have anything to add or comment, uh, throw it down there in the comments. We'd like to hear from you. So thanks for coming along and we'll catch you next time.